Welcome back to the San Juan La Union vlog. We're here in Herbistondo doing surfing, some lunch, and uh, come along for the ride. Today's surf and weather report for San Juan, La Union. I'm here at Herbistondo Point. A little surf made. We got some waist to, oh, I don't know, waist to chest high waves, occasional chest high wave. Uh, swells out of the north. Got a little wind on it now. Was uh, semi glassy this morning. Got a set coming in. Oh, nobody got it. There we go. Oh, that was the end. I haven't done anything here on Herbistondo Point for a while, so uh, this goes out for the Okinawa, man. Here's your surf for the Philippines. It's uh, sunny today. Beautiful. I went out for about an hour. It was a little cleaner, but it was a little more crowded. I would say we got about 15 people out there in the lineup you got quite a few people out from Manila visiting and uh, you got Bruce out there he's doing his calisthenics he's out there shadow boxing earlier and uh, you can find him out there every day he lives right on the beach here in Urbistondo Got a lull in the surf right now, but it was really good earlier. I mean, not super good, but you know, it was uh, definitely fun, surfable. You got three ladies just kind of wading in the water there from Manila. Got another three walking down the beach. Give you a glimpse of south. <laughs> there you go, Brian, Billy in the Philippines. He's working out. Hey, you gonna go join Bruce? <laughs> he's not gonna go join Bruce. Bruce is doing his calisthenics. This guy, he's in shape. I'm telling you. Uh, he's got to be. I don't know how old he is, but I would say you know, 60 plus. But He's in shape like a 35 year old. You know, if you surf, you really got to stay in shape. Unlike me, who likes Red Horse and other SMB, any kind of Philippines beer will do me good. Uh, there's Herbistondo for you. I've seen a couple people getting lessons out there scattered throughout the surf breaks there in front of Urbistondo. You got maybe another 30 people out there. You got Brian out there enjoying the sun. The guy on the inside is Marcus. I think. Yep, that was Marcus. Brian's coming in. He grabbed my board and went out earlier. I see David Hasselhoff, Baywatch. 
<laughs> it's funny. We're having a good time. Uh, Brian's been here with his wife now. I think this is the third day. He's going to shoot off tomorrow. But it's always good to have, you know, friends stop in for a three, four day weekend. If you do come up to LU and you want to meet uh, either me or Sal, you know, always feel free to send us a message. If we're not busy, but known to meet up for a beer or coffee or something with people. It's a, it's a Sunday, so it's a day of rest. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone out there. We're going to go get some uh, lunch, sit out over here, we're going to go to the Great Northwest, it's like a food court area just south of us, and uh, just chill out for the day. Tonight we have uh, live music, live music at Final Option. Nice set rolling in. Oh, it went unridden. You got one person. Oh, she's got it. Brian's going to go out and do some more vlogging. It's a surfing vlogging day. Brian grab my board, head out there. I'll have to I'll have to show you that clip pretty soon. So keep watching and you're going to see Brian on the surfboard. Hey Brian, where are you going? I'm going surfing. Oh yeah? Going to get some tasty waves and a Cool butts. Right on. All right, man. I'll see you later. So we got iced Americano here, chilling with Brian and Luisa and Sal. We're here enjoying LU on a Sunday. This is one of my favorite places to come and relax. You have a, uh, what do you call it, Tavern by the Sea, and it's it's a food court. So downstairs they have a bunch of places to go pick your foods out and stuff. I'll go take, take you along with me, and uh, we'll order some food. We're going to chill out here. They're going to put out some Tatiyama mats here, and a little table. I'm going to sit underneath the shade. I'll watch, watch these guys. <laughs> it looks like a, a lot of work to get set up, huh? Yeah. Uh. Hi, ah. Hi, Luz. Hi. How you doing? I'm just uh, waiting for the lesson for my uh, instructor because I have used to them. Oh, okay. I didn't know. See, surfing there. Did you surf this morning? No, I'm just uh, waiting the student for surfing lesson. They always uh, surf lesson because today is many people. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy yeah. Valentine's Day. All right, so this is Tavern by the Sea. And there's uh, upstairs is uh, hotel rooms. And then downstairs is the food court. Um, they got lots of parking here in front. Normally this place on a Sunday just packed. And here you still have a few empty spots. Next door they have uh, LU coffee. Um, but I'm just going to show you this. We're, we ordered some food here. Um, come in and they got you sign in, they take your temperature, smoothie shack. 
I've got their smoothies here, delicious. You can go all natural, or you can get the smoothie that's like, um, just kind of made with powder. And then over here, this is where you order burgers, show you some prices here. I'm gonna get that Dive In Deluxe Burger. Wow, look at that. That's the sausages. I think this is actually Brian and Luisa's right there. Um, and then they have uh, beer bites, spam fries. That looks good. Hungarian bites, and fish and chips. I got a breakfast. If you get here early enough, it's 12:30 now. We're gonna have a little lunch. But uh, go ahead and order here, and then um, if it's really busy, they give you a number, and you just put it on your table right here, like one of these tables, and. Uh, They'll bring it out to you. Really good service, excellent food. Um, during Christmas time, I vlogged here earlier, and they had a Christmas tree right, right there. This is their seafood. So they got the seafood boodles here, and you can choose what you want on it. I see. Kind of like this, it's with rice and seafood, your mix of whatever you want. They call it seafood adobo crates. Uh, that I've been here and they, they'll put a bunch of these tables together. And families, I've seen a table super long and a big huge seafood boodles out. Look delicious. Of course they got, what is this, Anyhow, I'm going to let you read that, it's in Tagalog, it looks good, carne, uh, they got a bar over here, I come here for breakfast, and um, this is uh, wings, wings, there's some prices here, wings and rice, $2.49, Six piece wing and rice, two nineteen. So roughly like little like four dollars and fifty cents uh, four dollars and fifty cents for some wings and rice, six pieces. And you can choose your flavors here. Barbecue sauce, sweet chili, garlic. The four fifty for wings and rice? I mean come on. And then uh, this is uh, Filipino food over here. I usually come here for breakfast after surfing. Well this is before pandemic. And they have um, I get their, uh, usually their two eggs with longanisa and rice. It's like one, 145, really good, delicious. I just got coffee, but um, over here is a bar. You know, it's the evening time, sunset. Come over here, get a San Miguel or Heart Spirit, and then you just, Walk out here. I remember one time I got out from a surf, two hours of surfing, I put my board over in the shade somewhere, and then I came back over here to get some breakfast. I ate my breakfast, and then <laughs> I was right here actually, and I, uh, I was on one of these mats. I fell asleep for like an hour. I woke up, I was like, Where am I? And no, I didn't even have anything to drink. I was just tired. And what's nice is it's right out in front, right right where my camera's pointed, between the tree and the red, uh, the red awning there. That's the, that's the main break, Herbistondo break. So you can sit here and eat. This is our party right here. We're all sitting, he's already got his sausage dog. We got our coffee. We're waiting for our food. Sell ordered for me. What do you got, Brian? Hungarian sausage. Dude, I saw it. Like a kabato bread that's really good. Nice. With cheese up on there. It's really good. All right. Yeah, it looks good. Like I got a burger from the same place, so.
I'll take a picture of it. That's it. We're going to enjoy. 300 pesos for this. Wow. I have like remorse on ordering my burger. I should have got that. <laughs> uh, I, I ordered that just for two. I don't want to be full. Okay. Nice size burger. Now that's a burger. The bread looks really good too. Oh, yeah, like yeah. a kabata bread or something. Kabata bread. Yeah. And you got some bacon and egg and cheese and some homemade chips. And then these, uh, these right here, this is spam. Spam chips, spam fries, spam fries. Let's try. Dude, that's good. It's Salty. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Thanks for joining. This is uh, this is the surfmobile, Sandy, and uh, this is Philippine style. I had to go buy this this car part. This this right here was two thousand pesos. You know that? Oh my god! Yeah, this is Philippine ingenuity. Um, yeah, I used to put like a pair of vice grips right here, but it'll scar this up. These shocks went bad, so you got my stick. But uh, you just put your uh, put your board in here. Look at all this collection of wax. It's a surfer lifestyle. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoy it. If you get a chance, smash that like button. And then do a subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified when I put up the next time I take Sandy out and uh, I'll be back soon with another vlog.